Hello everybody, and welcome to the Worldwide History of History. Today's video is not a normal video. Today's video is more of a documentary. Let's begin. Nara Dreamland, a lost treasure. Beginning. Nara Dreamland was founded by Kunizu Matsuo and opened in 1961. It was heavily based off of Disneyland in the United States. The story is that Matsuo actually heard about Disneyland and was so amazed by it that he wanted to create his own version of Disneyland for Japan. He even got to meet Walt Disney. The park was located in Nara, Japan, hence the name Nara Dreamland. This was a decision most likely made by Kunizu Matsuo. Now, of course, the park, just like Disneyland, has several lands. These included Fantasyland, Tomorrowland, well, kind of, Adventureland, and Ancestorland, instead of Frontierland. Ancestorland was actually more based around the history of Japan, which was also mainly cultural. And this was just an amazing idea. It was a beautiful land, but sadly, though, this land will only last for short, as it was later to be demolished and a water park would be replaced, and a water park would be put in its place. This was a typical kind of water park, not anything you know, extraordinary. The park was very similar to Disneyland. In fact, it had several attractions that are, well, almost exactly like Disneyland. These included a castle, which is heavily based off of Sleeping Beauty's castle, a version of the Jungle Cruise, a monorail, which, unlike Disneyland, was more of an attraction and less like a mode of transportation. You see, Disneyland's monorail was actually not just supposed to be an attraction, but was also supposed to be a mode of transportation to get around the park. There was also a train station, which is similar to Disneyland's, and also a train that went along with the train station that would take you all around Disney, or I mean, not Disney, Nara Dreamland. Now, of course, this train was heavily based off of a 19th century style train. There's also a version of Main Street and a Skyway or gondola ride. Now, of course, the park didn't have all Disney themed or Disney based attractions. In fact, there were several that were different. These included typical roller coasters that could be found in most everyday theme parks. They included the Screw Coaster, and yes, that is literally its name. The Screw Coaster, which of course is in a corkscrew, goes in a corkscrew fashion. Yes, that's the name of the coaster, Screw Coaster. It also had, the park also had another roller coaster, which was called Asuka. This was a wooden roller coaster, that, I mean, literally had a very weird commercial. I watched the commercial and it was very odd. Anyway, Asuka was a wooden roller coaster that was most likely based off of the cyclone in Coney Island. Now, of course, the park was so successful that a second park was opened, Yokohama Dreamland. Yokohama Dreamland opened three years later in... Yokohama, Japan, as the name suggests. The park, of course, had, was not as much based, not as heavily based as it, as the previous park, Yokohama Dream, or Nara Dreamland, I'm so sorry. The park wasn't as heavily based off of Disney as Nara Dreamland was. In fact, it was much less. Although the park did have a version of the uh, Jungle Cruise and Submarine Voyage, which, well, Nara Dreamland also had. Yokohama Dreamland also had its own monorail. 
On the left is a photograph of the Yokohama Dreamland monorail car. I also forgot to mention that these two pictures are of the Hotel Empire, which, of course, was one of the main hotels located on site. Later years and closure. Now, of course, we're getting to the later years of the park. Now, the park started declining in the attendance and thus quality of the park. You see... In 1983, Disney decided to open Tokyo Disneyland. Tokyo Disneyland really rivaled Nara, Nara Dreamland, as this park was heavily based off of Disneyland. And now that an official Disney park came to, to um, you know, Japan, there was no reason for, there's almost no reason for Nara Dreamland. In 2001, Universal opened Universal Studios Japan in Osaka, and Disney also once again opened another park. This was, was uh, Tokyo Disney Sea. Now, of course, the abandonment of the park. The park actually became more popular than it was when it was open, thanks to the internet. You see, the park became infamous for being a cheap Disney knockoff. And many people visited the park for urban exploration. You see, urban exploration, if you don't know what that is, is the exploration of abandoned places, such as Nara Dreamland. Now, sadly, in, in 2016, the park was bought by SK Housing. SK Housing was is a real estate firm who demolished the park and, of course, are probably planning to build homes or some kind of form of real estate. Now, of course, here we are on Google Maps. And the reason why we are on Google Maps is to show what the site of Nara Dreamland now looks like. You see, Nara Dreamland, which was abandoned for almost 10 years because it closed in 2006 and was demolished and demolition began in 2016 through 2017. Now, here's the former site of Nara Dreamland. As you can see, here's all the rubble as the park was completely demolished. As of when this this, um, I don't know what you would call it, this aerial view was taken. The only thing that survives is the fountain, or the pool for one of the fountains. Right here is the site of the former Nara Dreamland Castle. And right here we see the former, yes, the former Main Street USA. The road, which includes old trolley tracks, which you could tell, have been torn up. It was also heavily based off of the layout of Disneyland, which, of course, Main Street USA is in a very similar fashion, as it has this circular, this kind of circular uh, portion, the circular area, and then it goes down this long strip, then goes back to a circular area, almost like a long, narrow hourglass. Here was the former train station. Now, of course, right here is the road outside of the train station. Here's the former parking lot, which, as you can see, is being torn up. And the remaining part of the parking lot is now being used for storage areas. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.